tell you the story of Gossamer Wump, a little boy about uh, so tall. Oh, no, not quite that tall. That's better. <laughs> now, Gossamer was born in a house right beside a chicken farm, which had quite an effect on him. For when Gossamer learned to talk, the first words he said were... <laughs> Yeah, but later on, he learned to talk a little better and could say... Uh, so, my name is Gossamer Ruff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we shouldn't laugh at Gossamer because he was really a musical genius. He didn't know what kind of an instrument he wanted to play, however, until one day he was watching a big parade coming down the street. And Gossamer looked at all the musical instruments and made up his mind. He didn't like drums drumming. Or trumpets trumpeting. Or piccolos pickling. Or slide trombone slide trombone. All Gossamer wanted to play was the triangle. So Gossamer decided to become a famous triangle player. The next day, his mother made him 27 peanut butter sandwiches and packed them in a suitcase with his good sweater and a clean shirt. And then Gossamer took his suitcase with his sandwiches and went off to study triangle playing at the famous music school of Professor Cuddy Nutty Dump. At first, he could only play the triangle like this. But after studying for only six years, he learned to play it like this. So he went to look for a job. As soon as he got to the big city, Gossamer went to see the famous symphony orchestra conductor, Stanislav Hudnut. And when Gossamer played his triangle for him, Stanislav Hudnut said, My boy, with my symphony orchestra, you will play. Yes. And Gossamer said, Oh, gee whiz. So the night was set for Gossamer's big concert with the symphony orchestra. And the theater was filled with people as the curtain went up. Everyone quieted down. And a voice said, Introducing Gossamer Wump. And Gossamer stepped out to play. But a terrible thing happened. Gossamer had been so excited that he had forgotten to put on his belt. And when he took his hands out of his pockets to play his triangle, his pants fell down. So Gossamer pulled them up and hit his triangle. And his pants fell down again. And he pulled them up again and started to play his triangle again. This kept going on and the concert sounded like this. Finally, a woman in the audience couldn't hold it back any longer, and she laughed. <laughs> and then pretty soon, everyone was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Every 
everyone was laughing at poor Gossamer. Finally, he ran off the stage and out into the street and for blocks and blocks until he couldn't hear the laughing anymore. He was so sad, he was almost ready to cry. When suddenly, someone tapped him on the shoulder. It turned out to be a very important man who wasn't laughing at him at all, but one who thought his triangle playing was so good that he offered him a wonderful job. Today, Gossamer is a big success. You've probably heard him playing his triangle lots of times, because you know what he's doing now? When you're playing around your house in the afternoon and hear the ice cream wagon coming, that's Gossamer. <laughs>